Right, it's time to get on with this um, diff. I've got a bit of time on my hands, so I can do a bit to this now. So, I bought this little uh, 100 mil plate on eBay for about, I think it was £3.50, which is going to go on there and hold the other half shaft end, whatever you'd call it, in there. So the first thing I've got to do is bore this out to go over this bit and drill six holes in here to bolt it on there. I could probably get away with two holes but I'll, I'll do the six anyway. So there's several ways I could do this. I could set this up on the milling machine, do a bolt circle and drill them and they would be perfect but they don't have to be that perfect so I'm just gonna put the outside jaws in my lathe, mark the centre mark this diameter in the centre of the bolt holes as near as I can measure it is 85 millimetres so when I get it in the lathe I'll spot the uh, middle of this do the 85 millimetre diameter circle on here then bore this out and then mark this up to punch to drill the holes for the bolt holes. So uh, I just took a rough divide off of these holes, sent the punch the first one, went round and adjusted it ever so slightly until they came back to naught. So them centre punch holes are in the right place ish. I'll go and drill it now.
fucking wonder. <coughs> before. About the worst drilling job I've ever done. About the holes are there. <laughs> so I've got the plate on here. That was a bit of a lesson in how not to drill some holes, but it fits. Now I've got a new problem because obviously the crown wheel that actually drove the mini wheels was a lot thicker than this, and these bolts. I'm not going to go right down into here because they got these shoulders on them obviously that was a lot thicker and I'm not sure what the thread is on them but it's obviously an imperial thread I only had five of these nuts with it anyway but I'm going to have to make some little spacers just to go under here just to get this tight on them just to know I mean, it's easy enough to do but yet another pain in the ass. So my next thing to do is to make the bit that's going to go on here that's going to carry a bearing. Now the only bearing, this is 26 mil. this. I think it's obviously again another imperial thing but I can't find anything to fit it exactly. And anything that was that big, the bearing's too big. So I'm going to have to, um, I've got some bronze, I'm going to make a little bearing to go in there. And then a steel, about two inch steel, two inch round steel bit to go on there. And press the bearing into it. It's only got to be about half inch or so. The sprocket is going to have to go on that. But what I've got to be careful of now, because these are not going, they're, they're, only, they're almost going to be flush with this bearing. Whether they'll be in the way of this sprocket. Bloody nuisance. So this is me bit of, I don't know, I can't remember what it's called, sintered bronze or something. It's supposed to absorb the oil. I do all the bearings. So I'm going to stick that in the lathe. Just true it up and bore it out to fit the shaft. Only needs to be about half inch. I'll measure that now.
that's just cooled down a bit now. That fits on there nice. So I need to make a bit of steel now to press that into. And mount the, uh, there's a lovely fit on there. Anyway, I need to make a bit of steel to press that into and mount the sprocket on. So this is the bit of steel I've got to mount the sprocket and bore it out to press the bearing into. Now uh, basically I'm going to face this off, bore it out to press that into and then mount the sprocket on here. So what I want to do before I start, I'm going to turn, face this off, put a little spigot on here for the sprocket to fit over. Then when that's on the lathe, I'm going to scribe a circle for a bolt ring to screw this onto here with. And I shall probably drill and tap the holes in this and mount this on the lathe and then bore, bore this out to accept the bearing and then bolt this back on it. All right, let's get over to the lathe. I've just been and drilled these <coughs> these holes. <coughs> Right. <clears throat> 
and I need to drill some five mil holes in here and tap them. Unfortunately, I ain't got a drilling attachment with this lathe. <clears throat> Robert Zanudu made one for his uh, to fit on his lathe ages ago. That'd be really handy right now, but I ain't got round to doing that yet. I'm off to the drill press. Right, so I've drilled and tapped them holes. Now I've got to drill it and bore it out for the bearing. Tenth cut. That's it. I'm pretty sure that will press in there now. <clears throat> so before I press the bearing in, I just want to attach the uh, sprocket and bore that out to go over the, I don't know what you call it, stub axle, drive axle. Make sure I keep my fingers out of the way of these bastards. Let's do it. Right, go and press the bearing in now. Mm-hmm. 
Jobs are good. And there's the bearing pressed in. It's a cracker on there. Right, so now I've got to weld this onto this back plate. So I need to set that up, spot it on there, and then weld it on. All right, well, there we have it. The sprocket's on now. Still a bit hot at the moment and that bearing's quite tight in there. The welding, as usual, leaves a lot to be desired, but it's on now. So that's it, I've just got to figure out now some way of fixing the arc shafts to these. Because I think these are very hard. Don't know if I'll be able to drill through them just to bolt a sleeve on. I did 3D print this because when I get this up and running I should just fill this up with grease and then this just fits over it. It's just to stop shit getting in there really. It's pretty flimsy. Won't take much punishment but let's see how that goes. But that's it for now. We are ready to get the half shafts on it. And see about, I don't know whether to lock these up and see if I can drill through them or I'll have a go at drilling them. But I might have to just grind a flat on them or something and well, do something anyway. Obviously we're gonna have to do something. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next one.